Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I've been decorating the interior of my ship since the latest update. It is currently in beta and I thought I'd share with you guys, give you guys maybe a guide, show you some tips, a couple of tricks here and there, as well as the new things that they added. There are a couple of glitches as well, so I'm going to mention those as well. Just a bit more of a detailed video than the overview I did a couple of days ago. Let's get started with hubs. We do have new hubs. We now have new empty variants of previous hubs. For example, engineering bay empty, only one berth empty, living quarters empty. So a lot of those two by ones, three by ones, they all seem to have an empty version. So not all the hubs have an empty version. The majority do. For example, the one by ones do not have an empty version. That probably makes sense because, you know, there's not a lot going on in the first place. But for me, it was a very fast disappointment. Most of the companion ways, they always have something in the corner, like a, a box a cargo hold, something that just obstructs the way, kind of makes walking or, or getting around a little bit harder. The fact that they didn't make empty versions of companion ways without some of that crap, it was a little bit disappointing for me. So we'll see, hopefully they add it in the future, but that's just one of the things that I wish they went 100%. A few other hubs that do not have an empty variant are some of those two by twos, for example, the battle stations, the computer cores, they do not seem to have an empty variant. There is also, and I think this is probably a glitch, uh, but there is a tile hub that has no name on it and just it's just completely empty. So when I used it, it just looks like it's a living quarters, but empty with nothing. I would suggest not to use it because once they fix it, there might be a chance that you lose your interior decoration. So that's another thing about shipbuilding now. You will have to be more careful when you do changes to the exterior of your ship because uh, modifying a hub, changing the variant, things like that will now get rid of everything, all the hard work that you're putting into the decorations. Which is why I chose my ship carefully this is my uh, main ship that I know that I most likely will not make any other modifications. I like the way it is and uh, I spend a lot of time modifying the outside. So I know that this is, this is pretty much the final design. If I ever make any changes, it will be to remove the third floor. But the first and second floor are done deal. So from the ship building screen, that's what you have that is new, the different hubs. We're going to go now to the inside, hopefully give you guys some ideas and a couple of tips here and there as well. Okay, this is a tile one by one companion way, uh, or I think it's a storeroom. Actually, yeah, never mind. This is a storeroom and it's one of the few that you don't have boxes in the corner. Because otherwise, having a box or anything in the corner, it just makes walking, going around a little bit harder. It's just kind of annoying. So I prefer something, you know, more empty like here. I didn't do much this area of the ship. The battle station, again, you don't have an empty version. So the one that comes with the game is fine. So I left it there. Only one berth. This one, I kept it the same. And then the living quarters, here's the thing. I really, really wanted to use the empty version of these living quarters. But whenever I change it to the empty version, the game introduces a ladder here. And there was no way for me to remove it. Like even when I did a glitch by putting a window in here, by blocking it, I used the parts glitch, the ladder would still be here and then I will have a window in here. So it, will, it was completely messed up. I really wanted to turn this into a game room, just start from scratch. But yeah, I couldn't do it. So I just stuck a, a gaming table here at the end. Um, so it's pretty annoying. So yeah, that's one of the things. Keep that in mind. If you use empty hubs and you connect them, you know, there might be a ladder. Uh, now here, this one is different. This is an empty cargo hold. 
and obviously I did not use it for cargo. I turned it into kind of like a reception area with a big conference. By the way, we do have also new furniture in this latest update. So these chairs here are new and they're really nice. They look super modern and I think they fit really well for a, a conference room type of setting. So my design language throughout the interior has always been minimalistic as possible. And uh, this desk here is also new. We have a couple of new desks. Maybe I'll show you guys some of the new stuff. Okay, so this one here, this is a new desk. Uh, this one is new, another new one. And so we have a few new ones. The rest is the same. We have a lot of new chairs. So let me show you some of those. Um, so here, this is a new chair. I don't remember seeing this design before. I think it's really cool. Quite a lot of new furniture. This is a new one. This is another new one. A lot of modern design, so it's pretty nice. This one is new as well. And I think that is it. I think the rest is the same. We also have a lot of new pictures. We have a lot of the square ones, but then you also have some of these panoramic pictures like here. Let me see if I can get somewhere so you guys can see. So a lot of these panoramic pictures, these are new as well. I'm not quite sure about the posters, if some of them are new or not. Uh, it does seem like we have more new posters. So what else new? We also have these letters as well, L letters and numbers. You have to put them on a surface. They cannot go, unfortunately, on the wall, but you have a lot of letters and numbers as well. So those are some of the new things that I've noticed. There might be some more. So yeah, so this is one thing that I did with this empty cargo hold. I just wanted a big empty space and I really like this division, but without large doors or anything like that. It's just still maintaining something relatively open. So that is great. I didn't do anything to the two by one. This is, this is the regular one, not an empty one. And by the way, whenever you put two hubs together and one of them is empty, you're gonna now have all the doors available. If I change the two by two to a regular two by two, then you will only get one door, which is the one on the right. Uh, this one will be a wall. But now that this is an empty one, it becomes a door. And I tried this with other hubs. As long as one is empty, instead of a wall, you're going to get the door instead. So that's another thing to keep in mind. There is a hub with a glitch. It is the two by two mess hall. I believe it's the mess hall. There is a glitch I'm going to show you. There is no texture render here. And this one is a glitch. Hopefully they fix it. It is a funny glitch because as you can see, there is no texture. You can see the landing pad. But once you walk on it and you fall, you find yourself on the second floor instead. Yeah, that's weird. It's not me cutting the video. Like this is, this is really, you just go down and you end up on the second floor. So I guess, yeah, it's, it's, it saves you time instead of going through the stairs. Now you can just teleport your way to the second floor. I would not use this one or if I use it, I would not decorate it because once they fix it, who knows? what's going to happen to your interior decoration. It might just be gone. Cockpits, even though they don't have an empty version, you are still able to add things. Like for example, I added just a signage here. So you are able to really, if you want to, you want to add furniture inside your cockpit that is doable as well. I kept this control station the same, no changes. I kind of really like the control station the way they did it. So I just kept it as well. Instead, what I did is I did two wings on each side and I used the cross bridge, I believe. And on both cross bridge, I kind of fill them up with posters. I really like how it looks. And one thing about posters, so you have two versions, these ones that kind of have a thickness basically, but then you also have posters that are thinner. So these ones, these posters are thinner and because the surface is not flat, you get this kind of, you know, bad texture. One way to avoid this 
if you really like one of those thin posters and you want to use them, you can actually add one of these posters on top of one of the other posters. So if you do that, and now you kind of have it display everything correctly. This one is a workshop. It is an empty one. So this one, I decided to make my own workshop. I do like to have all my workbenches side by side just for easy access. And I wanted to do kind of like an Iron Man type of thing where you have all the armor suits, everything in display. So I did that as well here with some of the armors. I think this is the constellation one. I lost the helmet. I'm not sure what happened with the helmet. I yeah, I lost it at some point during the game or I sold it or something. This is the Mark 1 and then I have a couple of other ones. One thing that we still do not have are those displays. We still cannot put those glass displays with the mannequin inside. So yeah. And I did the same on the other side, the other pathway. And uh, this one is the research station, research lab. And I kept it default. Um, no changes here. I might do something in the future. Now here I have, this is actually a computer core, a two by one computer core from Deimos, empty. But instead of making it a computer core, I kind of turn it into an armory because I really like the glass dividers here. Uh, so I decided to just put all my weapons here. I stuck in this display here. It might be too much, but it kind of fits. So, so it's okay. And uh, a bunch of, you know, weapon racks and all legendaries, all legendaries. And I got a bunch of those, so I might as well just put them in here. So yeah, I turned this into an armory and I think it looks good. I like how this one works. It's one of my favorite two by one hubs and then a couple of uh, displays for for jump packs and things like that just just around it so here on this end i have a this is a three by two cargo hold and i turn it into a living quarters mess hall type of thing so i have a kitchen area on this side and i put a table here kind of like a you know breakfast table or whatever table just in here and here is kind of a, a gym location, a workout area. And um, yeah, so this is kind of like a hangout location. And uh, this is more like a mess hall area where for sitting down and uh, eating and things like that. So there's a table and uh, there is an area to sit at the center. The glitch of things kind of going below the surface is still there. So you have to bring it back up again. So that still happens. They haven't fixed it. Uh, this is another kind of area for for eating, a mess hall. And then I put a living room or a living quarters, a sit down place here in this area. It's kind of a nice place. And I was able to fit these higher end couches. So this was good. I really wanted to use to have these couches. So I'm glad that this place has the space for it. So the third floor, and this is the floor that I either do something and decorate the inside, or I just get rid of this floor altogether so that the ship is no ladders. This is the only ladder. So just one from the second floor to the third floor. Uh, I didn't do any empty ones here. On the other side is also another living quarters. Uh, sorry, the previous one was the only one berth. This one is a living quarters and it's just a default one. I do have a captain's quarters here. Um, not, not my favorite, not my favorite. I gotta tell you, not my favorite, but, uh, but yeah, so I might, I have to do more. I, I just don't know what to do. And I might even, I might change this captain's quarters to, to something else. I wish we could remove things. I wish that we could modify the standard tabs. Like we, we can decorate, we can add stuff to it, but we cannot modify or remove the things that they have. So I wish they could allow us that in the future. Like I just be able to take a hub, 
and remove what we don't want instead of having to always start from empty so uh, all right let's see let me see if i'm forgetting anything that is kind of uh, the, the the main things that i found about this uh new ship into your decoration if there is anything more you know if i do big changes to the ship or anything like that i'll definitely do another video so please subscribe and help me with your support i promise you this i will never send out notifications when i post a new video i don't like them myself so i'm not gonna do that to others thank you all for watching enjoy the game have fun and I see you all in the next video.